Hi friends, it's Marisa. So today I want to talk to you about how to stay positive during a foot injury or a foot surgery. As you know, I suffered a rather uh, <clears throat> serious injury on my calcaneus or heel bone and I had surgery about 12 weeks ago. Um, so I've been through a rough path, um, trying to recover from surgery and getting back to my 100%. And it's a long recovery, but we need to stay positive and sometimes it's not easy. But I learned a lot during this um, road of healing, um, how to stay positive, not only physically, but mentally and spiritually. And I want to share with you what has helped me um, to keep myself um, positive and heal better. So I want to share with you some of the things that have kept me um, sane during this process. And I know that I still have a long way to go, uh, but something that uh, I, I think uh, often, it's uh, about to be um, grateful, uh, gratitude. So, um, you know, we are going through an injury and uh, we are not able to do things that we used to. But think about all the things that you have. Um, you know, you have family, friends, uh, you have a house, food. Um, I went through a bicycle accident and um, it, it was pretty bad, uh, but I just, you know, um, injured my foot. Um, so it could have been a lot worse. And um, so things that, um, you know, keep you sane uh, every day and, um, and you are um, happy to have. Um, so that's something, think about things that uh, make you happy. Uh, and I know, um, you know, this is not a happy time, um, but because we're limited, but think of all those things that you have around you and be grateful for that. Also, um, try to control what you can do, not what you cannot do. So think about, um, you know, you can control your diet, you can control how much water to, you drink, or, you know, things that you can do. Maybe you cannot, you know, run or um, bicycle for a while, but think about exercises that you can do without you weight uh, bearing or putting your foot down. And um, there are a bunch of um, YouTube um, videos, exercises that you can do um, without you know using your foot. And I know the first few weeks are tough, especially after surgery, because there's not much you can do, but um, control things that um, you can do and instead of concentrating on things, I can't do this, I can't do that. Uh, and that is gonna maintain you positive and um, healthier. Exercising gives me an enormous sense of well-being. I feel more energetic, I sleep better, and it's a power in medicine for me. So I started exercising as soon as the doctor gave me the okay. The key is to maintain the right attitude and remain active with your tolerance until your injury, of course, is healed. And then you can just progress in, you know, doing more and more. Um, completing the exercises gave me the chance um, to not focus on my injury and help uh, maintain a continuum of contributing to good health while I was healing. So I did arm work, I did abs, legs, and of course, all non-wearing, so I use different devices and a chair. Also, find a hobby, something that redirects your energy on something different, learn something new. I am learning how to watercolor or paint, um, learn a new uh, language, 
there are a bunch of um, uh, online courses now that we can do. We went through a whole um, COVID uh, quarantine and a lot of us started, you know, doing something from home uh, that will help you to uh, put your mind in something else instead of thinking about how sorry you are uh, because you cannot do this, you cannot do that. As I said before, just redirect that on something that um, you can learn. Uh, I'm learning how to knit. Um, it's different things that maybe before you did not have time to do it. So this is a good time to start. And here I am, watercolor painting. I started learning and I enjoy it. Do not isolate yourself. Um, you know, because we have an injury, we can't move around, we can't go places. It doesn't mean that you have to stay by yourself. I'm sure that you have family, friends that um, are there to help you. So connect with them and make sure that you're connecting with positive people. You want as much positive as you can around you during the time of recovery. Positive energy is the key. When we have an injury, a physical injury, we tend to concentrate on that physical part. Uh, make sure that you are paying attention to your emotions, to your mental health, and um, that is so important. A lot of people get into depression, um, trauma, it's a big trauma for your body, so you start thinking negative thoughts. Um, so find something that will help you um, to deal with those emotions. Um, if it's um, really bad, uh, you are getting into a very, very bad depression and moods, uh, reach out to a professional. Um, or um, if it's, you know, you know it's temporary, um, <clears throat> Try to help, uh, get help um, through friends and family. I also meditate. Uh, meditation is not for everybody, but it helped me a lot um, to deal with uh, my emotions. Uh, breathing is, uh, has helped me um, you know, a lot, and you don't have to do it all the time. I'll do it once or twice a day. I have different um, apps that I use. I use Calm, Breathe, uh, Headspace, uh, Pacifica. So there are a lot of apps um, you can pay or you can get them free that can help you with your breathing and your thoughts. Also remember that um, healing and resting is not a uh, wasted time. So um, to take your time to rest, um, to heal, um, to, you know, just uh, allow yourself to lay down and do nothing or read a book, um, watch a movie or series, listen to a podcast. So sometimes we are so busy um, every day, 24 hours a day, uh, that we forget to give time to our bodies and our brain and our emotions a rest. So don't feel bad, use the time to rest and heal.